A testimony is the account of a test. One of my favorite scriptures which I believe God wrote for me specially that changed the trajectory of my life is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet but for an appointed time at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry. Welcome to another exciting edition of Success Syndrome. A series on mental vitality channel designed to help you discover your potential and fulfill destiny in grand style. I've included a free gift at the end of this podcast, so stick around till the end, don't fall out in between. The dominant factor principle in this scripture mentioned is vision. Vision can be likened to your mind's eye, which we can call imagination. Albert Einstein said imagination is a preview of a coming attraction. Vision here is simply the preview of a testimony that will not tarry. You cannot have a testimony until you pass a test. You cannot pass a test until you can see a preview of the coming attraction. Being what? A sneak preview of passing the test. You know, promotion remains in view until you pass the test. Interestingly, many want to wear a crown, but they don't want to go to the cross. Jesus never got a crown until he went to the cross and faced the crisis of his life. David never rose to the throne until he faced the largest crisis, the biggest crisis of his life called Goliath. It may be hard to assimilate this statement, but crisis is an elevator to your rising. The ignorance of this statement of truth has been garnished by the enemy as a lie to create false expression appearing real called fear, thereby making people think they have crisis whereas it's simply an opportunity for their rising. In Chinese, crisis, the word crisis, it simply means opportunity. That is why you see a Chinese man wherever there is crisis, like in Africa. And even where wars are breaking out. Why? Because they see every crisis as an opportunity. Many people run from the crisis, but the eagle uses the crisis of the wind in the storm to soar. Even aircraft take off into the wind, into the crisis of the wind to give it a lift. Your approach is what determines your reproach. The success of a flight landing is largely determined by its approach. Miles Monroe said, Crisis is the, Crisis incubator, is the incubator for innovation. For innovation. It is the, is the womb, womb of creativity. creativity. Most great innovations and inventions are born out of a crisis. When the crisis of mobility came, Carl Frederick Benz made the first gasoline engine that solved the intra-city mobility crisis in 1885. The ancient Egyptians are believed to be the first to invent the four-legged seat with a back better known as a chair, like what I'm sitting on. The earliest examples have been found in tombs dating back as far as 2680 BC. But, but centuries later, what happened? It evolved into further innovations of the metal, wooden, plastic, even the air chairs. What do you do with crisis? What you do with crisis determines your rising. But beware, crisis can lead you to your stardom or ignominy if not properly handled. If so, how then can you handle a crisis and become successful? Number one, change your mentality. Your approach determines if you suffer reproach. David saw an opportunity while King Saul, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Israelites and the entire army and the military battalion saw good life as a crisis. But David, an untrained youth who specializes in looking after sheep in the bush, as in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 4 to 58, saw that crisis as an opportunity to rise from obscurity to start up 
and ended up defeating Goliath, became the most celebrated king of Israel that produced the Messiah from his lineage. <laughs> Number two, see yourself overcome the crisis. See, every crisis that comes your way must have been screened through God's defense system that surrounds every believer as in Psalm 125 verse 2 as mountains are round about Jerusalem so is the Lord around his people. It's because what is required to overcome is already in you. So victory is sure. God said he declares the end from the beginning meaning your victory has been declared already. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, it says, God can't allow you to have a crisis beyond your ability to be victorious. Therefore, relax. He is in full control. The question is, are you in control of yourself? Number three, find scriptures that guarantee your victory and eat them. Promote your victory. Until you find out what is written, you can be beaten. Jesus in Matthew chapter 4, Again, verse 4 to 8 confronted the crisis with not with his title but with what is written in order to activate his rising from the crisis. Locate at least two testimonies that promise you that David confronted the crisis of Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 14 to 15, with a testimony of his past because testimonies replicate as in Revelation 19:10. I pray for you that the application of these four nuggets will turn whatever crisis you may be facing into your rising from obscurity to limelight in the name of Jesus. Remember to watch the next suggested episode, subscribe, leave a comment, share with others and download the free crisis assurance scriptures in the comment section below. See you on our next edition of Success Syndrome. Remain ever blessed. Desire nothing, no one else.